सबको नमस्कार इन दिस सीरीज आई विल मेक वीडियोस ऑन द मोटिफिकेशन ऑफ द माउथ पार्ट्स ऑफ इंसेक्ट वेस्ट राइट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टोल्ड अबाउट द बाइटिंग एंड चिविंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट बिकॉज दिस इज द बेस इफ यू रिमेम्बर दिस स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू रिमेम्बर द बाइटिंग एंड चिविंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स वेरी एफोर्टली You can actually easily remember other type of mouth parts like piercing and sucking type of mouth parts. You can easily remember the chewing and laughing type of mouth parts. You can easily remember the uh, sponging type of mouth parts and siphoning type of mouth parts. Because biting and chewing type of mouth parts are the base. Okay, we will discuss the modification in respect of this biting and chewing type. So please watch the previous video. And today I will discuss about the piercing and sucking type of mouth part. cotton bug aphid have this type of mouth parts okay now here is one bonus point that if you want to control the insect pest which have actually piercing and sucking type of mouth part you have to apply systemic insecticide now let's talk about the modification you can see i have made one chart in the right hand you can see the mouth part and in left side there is a modified into why i have made this mouth part because an ideal insect should have labrum mandible maxilla and labia but they don't have all this in some insect labrum is modified into some something mandible is modified into something maxilla is modified into something labia is modified into something so in the piercing and sucking type we will see that that how this four mouth part is modified here you can see the labrum is unchanged unmodified the mandible is actually modified into outer stylet and maxilla is also modified into inner stylet here you can see in the image that the green portion is actually labrum it is unmodified but the yellow portion is actually the mandible it is actually outer stylet and the pink one pair is actually maxillary stylet that is inner stylet now here you can see the beak like structure this is actually called as rostrum and it is actually modification of labium i have made another chart in the left side there is a mouth part and in the right side there is a function this chart will help you to understand why this modification was needed and what the function of this modified mouth parts you all know that labrum did not modified so it nothing to do with piercing and sucking but here is the outer stylet remember this outer stylets are made are modified to protect actually inner stylet that's why i have written that this stylet fits against the maxillary stylets and the main thing is the inner stylet that that is the maxillary stylet why you can see this pink are actually inner stylet that is the modified version of maxilla okay when they joins together they actually form canal there is actually two canal in when they join one is food channel food canal and second one is the salivary canal through the food canal they take the uh, plants sap and through the salivary canal they actually secretes the saliva which get mixed with the plant sap and then it will go into their digestive system that's why i have written that these stylets are doubly grooved on their inner surface and when closely opposed they form two canal food canal and salivary canal through which plant sap and salivary conducted respectively now talking about the labium the labium is not involved in piercing and sucking time but why they modified into that beak like structure why because this beak like structure this rostrum actually protects this two outer and inner stylet that's why i have written that not involved in piercing and sucking it functions as protective covering for four stylet within the groove okay so that's for today in the next video i will discuss about the piercing and lapping type of mouth part here you can see the uh, picture i will make it easy later video will come on sponging type and uh, siphoning type thanks for watching be subscribed